Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of different. I've been playing around with different nail polish toppers because I sit and I look at my nail polish collection and I'm just like uninspired and that's aggravating because I'm just like I have every single color known to man and I just don't know what to paint my nails. So here recently I have just been like obsessed with nail polish toppers. I've just been like painting them over every kind of color you could think of, just every kind of combination you could think of. I feel like a lot of times we overlook toppers. I know I'm especially bad about that and now that I'm really getting into them I'm like kicking myself for every time I just kind of like overlooked a topper somewhere so I wanted to make this video and see what you guys thought of it maybe I'll do like a monthly type of thing where I show you some cool combos that I've put together because I think it's a really good way to use your collection in interesting ways like I, I just I've really come up with some stuff that I've been absolutely loving and I'm just getting tired of like just a plain color on my nails or colors that I don't want to wear just by themselves like yellow I just I refuse to wear yellow by itself but I've come up with so many like interesting com like combinations with toppers I also wanted to mention that I am going to the mall in a few days so I know some good places to get good toppers like interesting toppers are like rue 21 hot topic um, just stores like that like random stores. but I know that I found like especially at rue 21 I think I found like some really cool toppers before and I've like given some of them away so again I'm like kicking myself I also wanted to mention that indie polishes okay indie polishes I would love to buy indie polishes because I think they're so interesting and so different and so fun but I think they're really expensive like I don't have the money to pay like ten dollars and up for a nail polish I just don't so I feel like this is a good way to kind of like mimic those indie polishes that you might have had your eyeball on because to me these kind of resemble those type of polishes and then I also wanted to say like matte glitter and like matte matte little shapes are really intriguing to me so if you guys know anywhere to find like good toppers please let me know in the comments because like I said I'm gonna go shopping and I need like some ideas and then if you guys have seen these like a billion and one times like you don't even care like you could also let me know that because I don't want to be like getting super repetitive if you guys have seen like these certain toppers I've talked about. So for now I'm just going to talk about um, like my favorite ones that I've come up with because I've had to play around and really kind of figure out like what I like the most. I did do some on like darker polishes because I know some of you really like your darker colors and I think they're so cool like it just... It really gives a different effect on different colored backgrounds so yeah let's let's go ahead and get started I feel like I'm talking so much but I did want to like give you guys kind of the background history of you know why I started to do this this makes me want to like create my own nail polish line hopefully someday I could do that I think that would be so amazing because I even like think of nail polish colored names that I would call these so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started with what's on my nails okay so here's what I have on my nails right now which I will show you I just want to show you guys a close-up of what it is it's this right here it's kind of a yellow background with like confetti glitter on it okay so what I paired together was this wet and wild wild shine nail color in Dio oops I don't know I don't know what this is called I'll put it in like a caption like how to say it I don't know how to say it but I've like I've had this in my collection for months now and I just always want to use it it's kind of like an American cheese like McDonald's kind of yellow it's kind of ugly but it's so cute with like different toppers on it it's so like fun and springy and different so I did pair that with this feather effects by color club nail polish and I don't think it has a name but I did get this little confetti polish from rue 21 and usually rue 21 has really good deals on their nail polish I think it's usually like two for five so I'm excited to go and like check out and see what they have going on because I know I've bought like toppers and stuff from them before and have given them away so great job but this topper right here I've just put over so many things and I'll show you guys here in a minute like different colors I've put it over but I would love to if I made this in my own collection I would call this Pocahontas because it reminds me of like the little like leaves and sparkles and stuff blowing in the wind if you guys can kind of see I think that's focused but that's kind of what it looks like on my nails so there it is over white and that's only one coat like I, I get kind of nervous with toppers because, and I'll show it to you over blue, but I get nervous with toppers because I always feel like they're going to be really, really sparse, but this one is like not very sparse at all. Like I would actually like it to be a little, I like, I wish I would have wiped my brush off a little bit. So there's this over a light blue and I also think it's, I just think this topper is cute over pretty much anything. Anything you put this on I think is just adorable. 
And then one last time, here it is, over yellow. Oh, and I did paint it over China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy, the new version of Flip Flop Fantasy. So there you can kind of see it as well. Okay, the next topper I want to talk about is from Five Below. And I forgot Five Below. I think I will need to check there as well. I think I'm blurry. Great. And I don't know if they sell this anymore. I got this last summer. So, you know, a couple months, of, more than a couple months ago. This is called Saved by the Glitter. And this is by Funky Fingers. I've absolutely been loving this. This looks good over anything anything it's matte white pink and blue and then it's got like little little glitters in it as well i love matte glitter i think it's so fun especially when they mix all these colors together so they're saved by the glitter over white and see you can kind of see that that white like disappears but it's still really cute okay i have it over here on top of a plain like darker gray color so you can kind of see that the white glitters stand out more oh okay i forgot to show you guys i did paint that confetti glitter over black and then i also just painted that saved by the glitter over black as well and i wanted to show you so here is the confetti one and then here is the saved by the glitter one over black really cool i did want to mention to you guys really quick that the black and white that i was using to play with all these toppers was from sinful colors i have the snow me white which is the white and then the black is black on black and these are really 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 good and i find especially with white like white is super hard to work with normally but these have been really really good to work with even on my nails this white was just like pretty easy i really liked working with these i would repurchase these to do like nail art and stuff like this with because they're easy and they're inexpensive so if you guys have been on the market for um you know a good black and a white these are good these are really good okay so i think i'm just gonna show you two more and then we'll just call it quits for today so which one do i want to talk about first we'll talk about this green glitter first because i've had this for a couple months now and i think it's so interesting this is by wet and wild this is a mega last polish and this is called field of dreams and this is a uh, an emerald green like grassy green glitter and it's a fine glitter as well so I just kept looking at this and looking at this. I bought this at the Dollar Tree a few months ago and I just was trying so hard to figure out a good pairing with this. And I think this looks so cute, most, like most of all, with a pale pink, which I'll show you guys a close up. I did it over a, a black. I also did it over a darker pink, like a more bubblegum, strawberry type of pink, but my favorite is over a light pink, which the light pink that I used is this Revlon nail polish in the color Koi, and I just love it. I think it's such a cute, cute combination. I don't know why, but I love like pink and green together, and I just really couldn't see this on anything else. Like, I don't know what else I would pair this with, honestly. If you guys have any ideas, let me know what you'd put this on top of, and I'll show you a close-up of this so that way you can kind of see, but yeah, to me, I just feel like it makes the most sense, and it looks the most standout-ish on top of this pink color. So here is this close up. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so fun. Now I did pair this over black and that kind of reminds me of like Wizard of Oz, like uh, Wicked Witch of the West nails or something like that. Okay, so this is one coat of it on top of like a darker pink and then here's one coat of it on top of like a lighter paler pastel-y pink and I just think it's a lot cuter. I don't know if it's like coming across that well on camera. You guys kind of get the idea. Like it's just kind of like an interesting, like people are going to want to know what's on your nails when you wear a weird combination like that. And then the last one I'm going to talk about with you today, I did have like others I wanted to talk about, but I don't want this video to be like a million years long. I want to kind of like know your guys' thoughts as well and like what kind of toppers you've been like loving or you love in general because I, I mean this is like new to me and I'm so excited about it. So yeah. So okay, the last one that I want to talk about is from Revlon and this is called Celestial FX. And my boyfriend picked this up for me the other day for Valentine's Day. He got it at Walmart and it's got, it's a clear base, but it's got kind of like um, holographic glitter in it. And then it's got star and moon, like holographic cutout glitter. This is so hard to get the little like star and moon glitters out. Like I have to like, I will get one on my brush and that's like fishing for it because the base is so like watery. Oh, I'll show you guys in a second, but I think this looks so cute over everything. I put this over a blue, like a dark oceany blue. I put it over black, and then I think it looks really good over red. I love it over red so much, but... Oh, and I also did it over white, and I did it over a light blue, so you guys will see a lot of this. Who cares? So let's get started. Oh, I love it over dark blue, but I'll show you a close-up of like this so you can see how runny the base is. I don't know anything about this polish. I've never heard of it. Maybe you guys like know more about it, and you already have it in your collection. 
Okay, so there you can kind of see, and maybe you can kind of see also like how runny the base is, like the base is super watery. So that like makes it even harder because the little glitters like slip right off your brush. And then here it is over black, and I can't even tell you how many coats that is, probably like 45, like trying to just dig out these glitters real quick, but it's still really like a good payoff. Like I think it's really cute. And then here is over like a, a royal blue or like Pacific blue, I don't know like how you call this color, but that's what that looks like. And then there it is over red and then over a more pastel blue. Isn't that cool and like interesting? Like wouldn't you wanna know what was, like what was on someone's nails when they were wearing that? Oh, and over white, here it is. It just looks good over everything. It's one of those polishes that just looks good on everything. If you can manage to get the glitters out, I think it's really cute over this blue too. Alright, so that is it for me for now. Like I said, I'm going to be playing around with this. I don't know if I'll like haul and I don't know what I'm going to be getting in the next couple of days when I go shopping. There might be like a haul involved. I don't know. But I think I will start doing more of these videos. Maybe like once a month I'll show you guys like my favorite topper combos. So also be sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite toppers are. I think I've said that like five million times already, but just so you guys know, like I've, I've really like been looking for some good ones and I think they're kind of hard to find at like Walmart and stores like that, like more readily available stores. And they all kind of look the same. Like I have several that like look exactly the same, which I can talk about in a later video. Like don't waste your money buying like all these different toppers. You just need one of them because I have like three or four of them that look exactly the same. If you guys have any thoughts or questions or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.